Hey guys, so I'm gonna make this video pretty quick. I gotta go pretty soon and my battery needs to be charged on my phone. First of all, I'm gonna do a Spirit Hoods haul on some of my new hoods. I have quite a few, but first of all, I'm gonna answer this question that was asked in my first, my second Spirit Hoods haul. I was gonna reply to you, Ashwi Bay, but for some reason I can't reply to you on my on the actual comments. So her question was, how much would the squirrel and hyena cost from a seller? Um, unfortunately, those two hoods do not. Uh, are not sold on the Spirit Hoods website anymore. They have been discontinued. Um, the squirrel is rather hard to find. I think there was about 60 made, if I am correct. Um, it can go... It used to be like 119, I believe. I can't remember off the top of my head on the site, but now it probably be, uh, probably will be about 160 to 250 $300 just for that hood if you find someone who is willing to sell on Instagram, Facebook pages such. Um, the hyena, there was a few more made. I believe it took like a day to sell out, if I'm correct. Unfortunately, that one is sold out on the website. It was about 149 I believe. Uh, it, could, it seems to be reasonably easy, but a lot of people are trading these hoods and probably will not sell. Um, your chances of getting it for a reasonable price might be slim. I'm believing I think this hood will probably be going for about $200 to $300 second hand, but I may be wrong. It's kind of hard to tell because these hoods fluctuate in prices very often. Depends on the person who's selling them and such. Um, stock eBay, the hyena popped up a few times on eBay, but it's, it's hit and miss on these hoods, honestly. Um, if I, the best, um, thing I could recommend is definitely go to the Spirit Hoods website, which is spirithoods.com, uh, make an account and sign up for the newsletters and just follow the newsletters until you find a hood you absolutely love and buy one from the site if you aren't willing to spend big bucks. So let's get started on haul number three. So first of all, I'm going to start on my Siberian Snow Leopard. I got this from my friend Shay, Shay I, we call her. She's on my blueprint team. Uh, it's just the original silk lining. I got it for 60 bucks. I really wanted it and she was willing to sell it to me, which was awesome and I absolutely love her for it. And oh, it's one of my favorite hoods. I've been sleeping in it so much. So that's this one. The fur is super pretty. Like, oh, if you guys really want, I will do a comparison video on this and the snow leopard. But that's the fur. Like, it's super soft, super plush. Highly recommend it if you're a first-time buyer on the website. Really good hood. This second hood, um, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this. I am so sorry. Um, this was found on Kijiji from a seller. Uh, a few people messaged me and I actually tried to get it for them, but it sold. And she sent me a picture of a Bollywood hood after. And I was like, okay, that's definitely not the hood she's picturing, but I guess she did have this. Uh, my boyfriend actually bought it for me. Uh, he, we weren't seeing each other that day and I was pretty down in the dumps and he's seen this on Kijiji, I guess, or I don't even know, he must have heard of it or something and he went and picked it up as a gift for me. But it is the Arctic Fox, built for snow. Um, I'm actually contemplating on trading this for the Cheshire Cat. I really want that hood and I'm willing to give up this. Um, it has the visible built for snow visibility piece so it does sit extremely high on the head which is one thing I'm not fond of as I hiccup. It has the snowboard goggle clip in the back so you can clip your goggles on and keep them on. has three pockets, a left pocket and these little doodads where you can make it into a scarf and clip it behind your neck so when you're snowboarding your paws aren't a flapping in the breeze. Um, this one's in extremely good condition, like, I'm impressed, but I pay, I think he paid about 80 bucks. But that's this one, it's right behind me. Um, the next one, I got as a gift from a friend in BC. Um, I was really upset with myself when I traded my Peruvian lion for my silver fox. Don't get me wrong, I love my silver fox, but my Peruvian lion had a deep story behind it. And, well, she 
gave me hers and I honestly cried a little like it was so special but this is my Peruvian lion it is the one hood that just screams my name every time I see it when I'm sad when I'm lonely it's beautiful <laughs> this was I believe the second run because it didn't have an ear tag I had to sew it on so uh, I have three more hoods so this one I got in a trade. Uh, it's a sample hood, so it was never made past this stage. Um, I traded my sample snow leopard for this and another one, but it is the Nasty Rabbit built for snow. It's exactly the same as the Arctic Fox, but Nasty Rabbit buckled on the back. And this one has for sample use only. Okay, this next one was also given to me in this exact trade for my sample leopard. Um, I wouldn't have actually bought this hood. I was a little disappointed when I seen this one drop on the site. I wasn't willing to pay $180. It was just, it was too much for this hood. I thought it was insane. And I got a lot of hate for it apparently because I got it anyway. When I actually contemplated this trade a lot and decided, you know what, screw it. I'm getting two hoods for just the one. I'm just going to do it. Like, maybe I'll fall in love with it. And it's the Khaleesi Dragon Wolf. I'm actually kind of liking it. I wouldn't have bought it, but it's really comfy. I just, I hate this poof right here, but. The, the fur is like insanely soft. Like I pet this fur like all day. And the liner is pretty neat. Like it goes from like a purpley to a gold. Khaleesi Dragon Wolf. Okay, so this last one I showed in my video yesterday, um, this one is the one I am trading. The other one is still in my boyfriend's car. I haven't seen him yet. I'm getting it tonight, hopefully. Uh, it is the brown husky. It does have the exact same liner as the Arctic wolf. Uh, the fur is not really brown. I don't know why it's called the brown husky. It's more of like more blacks in it. Like it looks kind of like the normal white wolf, but has more black put into it. This one did have a pretty bad bowl cut. I took it into the hairdresser and got it fixed. It's looking a lot better. But yeah, this is my brown husky. So, this is my video. Uh, it's seven minutes long. Well, eight now. I am so sorry. Um, anyway, I hope you like this video, you guys. Um, if you have any more suggestions, any more questions, stuff like that, leave them below. Um, if I can't respond to you guys, if you are not don't have an account or if it's private and I can't respond, I will give it a thumbs up. Like, I'll like it and then respond to it in my next video or on my Instagram in a question post. So, hope this helped. I love you all very much. Thank you for all the subscribers. Thumbs up. Give me a subs Click that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. See you guys later.